Hey everyone, just wanted to get on here and share something that I just felt the Father put on my mind, on my heart today, the last few days really. Um, I wasn't initially planning on sharing, but today Ian and I both felt quite a strong prompting to share something. And when I was, when I was praying about what the Father wanted me to say, the, the impression he put really upon on my heart was um well my mind was drawn to Matthew eleven twenty nine, which talks about which is where Yeshua Jesus is talking about his yoke and his burden. And what I felt the Father was saying was that there are many people carrying burdens which he hasn't graced them to carry. And there are people yoked to things that they're not supposed to be yoked to and the reason for that that there is a the main reason I felt that he was saying is because we we are designed to be yoked that might sound odd because we know we have freedom through Messiah but you know Yeshua clearly does tell us in Matthew eleven twenty nine that we we are to be yoked to him we are to actually carry a burden but it's his burden and it's light and his yoke is easy and if we're not fully yoked to him we will carry we will become yoked to something we will become burdened by something the wrong thing and i felt that there are people out there carrying burdens they're kind of walking through life and facing situations which just feel unbearable and sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes the reason for that is because you're carrying something that the Father hasn't required you or requested you to carry. He hasn't given you the grace to carry it and you need to put it down. Um, for some, I feel it's as simple as learning to say no. Now, some, I know there are trials, sometimes we go through trials and tests and that's part of a refining process and it purifies us and it's, it can be really hard and painful at the time but that's different and that's not really what I'm talking about now. What I feel to talk about right now is um, is more people who are facing situations, carrying problems which the Father wants you to put down, which um, it's along the lines of just saying no to some things, maybe some people, I don't know, it could be, it's going to be different for everyone. But the reason that you're struggling so much with this situation, whatever that is for you, is because he's not, he, his grace isn't there for it because you're not supposed to carry it. But something he was revealing to me as I was praying on this was that you are supposed to be yoked, you are supposed to be burdened, but it has to be, you have to be fully yoked to Yeshua and carrying his burden alone. And how that looks, it, it's more than believing in him, it's more than praying, it's more than singing songs to him. To be yoked to Yeshua, and this is what he was really impressing on me today, to be yoked to Yeshua is to walk as he walked, is to walk in his ways. We're in, we're in an age, um, I shared something yesterday on social media, we, you know, many people call this the age of grace. And that gives many people the impression that this age of grace means, for example, sin is no longer sin and the commands written in the word of God are no longer for today. It doesn't actually mean that, it simply means the age of grace is simply that judgment isn't being poured out right now, but sins are being recorded in a book and judgment is coming one day. And I know this doesn't sound like, you know, particularly uplifting message right now, but it, but it is if you, you bear with me. Um, many people are afraid when we start talking about commandments and burdens, um, their minds go to legalism and think, you know, I, I'm, I'm not suggesting that we are to return to sacrificing animals and Levitical systems, but the word is full of instruction that are eternally 
applicable. Um, and these are the burdens that we need to carry. This is the yoke that we need. With this, this yoke to Yeshua is what we need to be attached to. Carrying his burden and being yoked to him is the key to keeping free from picking up wrong burdens. It's the key to, it will prevent us from becoming yoked to wrong situations, wrong people, because we're fully invested in in him and we we are fully kind of cloaked in in his burden and you know I, I had a lesson of my own just over the last few days there was situations I was facing and I did what I normally do when I came up against something that I was finding really hard I cried out to the father for help and for the grace and and I praised him through it but I really felt a lack of that grace, a lack of that shalom um, that has is always there when, you know, even in the face of things being hard, the, there's a peace there normally. But in a situation I faced recently, it just felt completely wrong and I, and I felt he was just showing me that I was carrying a burden that he hadn't required me to carry and that I needed to put it down and focus on you know that per persisting and carrying his burden which is light and yeah so I just really felt to encourage someone out there to just evaluate everything um, that you're walking through right now ask yourself if there's any areas that you are carrying burdens which he hasn't asked you to carry that you're taking on board whether through guilt a sense of responsibility that actually isn't yours um obviously there you know we 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 do have life burdens you know we 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 all have roles to play we have things to carry all the time but but what's meant to be carried by us the father will empower us to do and the, the second part was, as, I, as I've said, pick up his burden. It, it's time to, it, as we invest more into walking, as Yeshua walk, into walking in obedience to the Father's command, we will find that the, the burdens, any wrong burdens that we've picked up, there isn't room for them. We will, we will naturally put those down. We will have to. And, you know, I'd encourage people to just start looking more into it, it. I feel we're in a season where it's really important that we dig more into the word, we study more. Um, my, Me and my family, we observe the biblical feast. When I say observe, we, um, we remember them. We kind of have a little celebration party on each of them. Obviously, we can't observe them in the way um, that they were in, in ancient times, but I just feel these things are so important for the body right now. I feel these are the things he's asking us to pick up and focus on. And as we as we do, as we pick up his burden, as we yoke ourselves tightly to Yeshua, these wrong things that we're carrying will begin to drop away and you'll find yourself lighter and freer and more shalom, more joy. And, you know, when you do face trials that, that he allows or, or tests, whatever, he will, he will empower you. So if you're feeling completely overwhelmed, it, it is time to evaluate and, and just ask him, is there any areas in your life where you're not fully um, investing yourself in his burden and in, in his yoke? Just ask him. It, it could, can be many forms. It's um, I briefly mentioned earlier. This, it, you know, it's not just um, picking up wrong burdens and not being able to say no to things. It can also be, um, you know, are, are you investing a lot of time into something that he's prompting you to withdraw from? Ian and I shared a few weeks ago how we were putting a lot of time into social media, and you know that was having quite an impact on me because it, the, the thing is full of negativity and debates and, um, and and not just that but it's full of such a variety of topics you can scroll through a news feed and in two minutes you've seen 10-15 different 
topics and it can just really bombard the mind. Um, we can very easily get heavily wrapped up in hobbies and interests and now I'm not saying, I haven't given up social media and, and I'm not saying we can't have hobbies and interests but sometimes if we're investing too much into worldly pleasures um, as, as much as those things may entertain our mind for a while they can rob some of the time we would be spending receiving spiritual input from the Father and having our soul and our spirit fed from Him and so that can have this knock-on effect of feeling weighed down, burdened, um, a lack of peace, a lack of joy and you can end up finding it, life even harder, you know, and when you are facing trials they can become even, they can feel even heavier than they actually are, you, you're not quite feeling the full empowering of the Father to, to carry you through any trial, so that's basically it, I just felt it, we all need to evaluate where we are in our walk with Yeshua and really make sure we are very tightly yoked to him, um, carrying his burden and making sure we put down anything that he's requiring of us to put down. Okay, I think that's all for now, so I hope this has encouraged someone, I hope it's helped someone and I will hopefully see you soon. God bless.